already. <laughs> the Dark Side of Alice in Wonderland by Angela Youngman. So you get a little bit of like the girl that kind of inspired him to write it, but you mainly get um, about the author and the type of like, I don't know if like legacy is the right word, but the inspirations and whatever of Alice and like the book. So like you get, there's 15 chapters like with different types of like categories. So like horror Alice, occult Alice, X-rated and banned Alice. You get a different variety of um, areas covered, um, but you get like, who is Alice? Like, who is she? So, um, who is um, Carol and his interaction with her? Um, and like, who, and like the first few chapters is like, who he was and like, um, what um, people have like um, noticed about him and stuff so and like their interactions so um, you get like these um, so like the Mad Hatter and like the Caterpillar like um, drug references and stuff um, And it goes like into like two of the Beatles songs. Um, and like one line references in like films and stuff. So like um, in The Matrix, Follow the White Rabbit, um, elsewhere, in the elsewhere in the film, you take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Um, so like that type of references and then like, um, drug references like on like the street to like, um, Alice in Wonderland. Um, like how like a cult type of like moves into Wonderland as well. Um, like uh, the different films, experiences, like how like the inspired by or the retellings of it. Um, like his own drug use, like um, him being a possible connection to like a murder case. Um, you get like a murder mystery game. <laughs> um, possible um, mental illness connection um, to the characters in the book. So like his own, a possible his own way of dealing or expressing it or whatever, but um, it's a dark, <laughs> as the title say, you get like a kind of like a dark look, a look aside that you don't really want to have for the story because like it's a favorite story for many people and and like this like for some you're like I like the work but not the author so but um you're like I don't know about the author but again people love the story so it's just like eh. <laughs> Um, but it gives you a new perspective on him and the landscape and characters he created in, in um, Alice in Wonderland and then like it kind of like it kind of would flow over into um, Through the Looking Glass but mainly the first book 
but yeah um, it's a slight biography slight looking in like different aspects of his life and what could be the reasoning behind these and like the references from when it since it was published and everything so so yeah the dark side of Alice in Wonderland happy readings